All right, so we got a couple speakers. We're gonna roll them out with this Microtech 2400. Oh, this one's missing the whole damn uh, coat. What speaker is this? Is it a Logitech or something? Yeah, I don't know. Some random speaker we got? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, no, boo. Oh, ad. Oh, there's an ad playing? Durr. Yeah. Oh, this one's shaking all the way through. Oh, I jumped right out the gap. Wait. Turn on the volume. Push the gap. Push the coil back in. It's, oh, it's seized up. I'm gonna hold it like this. Yeah, it's gonna keep jumping out. That's it. Speakers are these, man. It jumped out the gap again. I'm gonna oh. hold it like this for now. Try another speaker, we'll have to variact that one. Alright, so we got some random Panasonic bookshelf speaker. Damn. Sounds terrible though, right? Yeah. And it has a port in the back too, so. Ooh, turn it around, let's see. Let's see if there's blowing any air. Cheap speaker, huh? Where do we get this one from? Oh, QFX party speaker. Alright. You can tell it. Oh, oh that's gonna be it. Oh, look, the coil already separated from the whole uh, cone. Look how small the coil is. It's like three quarter inch, or maybe an inch. No, probably like three quarter. Since the crown couldn't blow out this speaker, we're gonna get uh, another oh. old Variac out. What for how many volts is that? Alright, this is 10. 10? 15, 20, 25, 30. All that and it's still working. So as it turns out, this one woofer took the full power of the Variac. That's basically like sticking it in the outlet. That and this couldn't burn it up. That Weird, hadn't right? happened in many years. I know, it took a lot. What kind of speaker is that? Oh, that's a Dayton Audio, dude. Oh, that's one. And so uh, thumbs up to Dayton Audio, dude. <laughs> Good job. Took some serious power. Anyway, um, that's it till we get some more speakers. All right, say bye. All right, bye.